So today we're going to figure out what holds more energy, two capacitors in series or two capacitors in parallel. And we have these rather dangerous looking large capacitors here, which we're going to charge up and try to visualize this energy that is uh, stored. So first, let's have a look at our equations. So which stores more energy, two capacitors in series or two capacitors in parallel? And the potential energy that's stored in a capacitor depends on the capacitance and also the voltage difference squared. Now, the capacitance of two capacitors in series um, adds up in a, in a certain way here is 1 over the equivalent capacitance is 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2, whereas the capacitors in parallel, the capacitance is just ad linearly. So it's as if you have two capacitors and you create one big capacitor just by adding the two together. You're increasing the area of your capacitor. So if we take a specific example where we have two capacitors that have the same value. We can solve for the equivalent capacitance, and we find that when the capacitors are in series, we get half of one of the original capacitors. So the capacitance decreases. The potential energy that's stored, therefore, from the equation above is 1 fourth times C1 V squared. Now, when the capacitors are in parallel, we add the capacitances, so we create a larger capacitance, and the potential energy is equal to C1V squared. So we see that we get four times more energy when we connect our capacitors in parallel than in series. So in our experiment, what we're going to do is connect these, uh, these capacitors to a voltage generator. So we're going to charge up these capacitors. So now we see these uh, electric charges that are built up on the plates of our capacitor here. Then we're going to disconnect this voltage generator. And we can now pull a switch and short our capacitors and see maybe some sort of visual electrical spark come out of this. And then we'll try to see which spark is bigger. Okay, and this will be our intuitive way of figuring out which one is holding more energy. So remember, capacitors in parallel is what we expect to hold more energy. So let's do our experiment and see if we can see this. So currently, uh, we have these capacitors hooked up in series. So in series, this is supposed to hold less energy. And I can charge these up by attaching, I've got a 6 kilovolt power source here. And I'm going to, uh, I have this kind of wired up in such a way that these capacitors are in series. And I'm going to now charge up the capacitor. And we see that this uh, generator here is moved up to about 6 kilovolts. Uh, the, this is the measuring the potential difference um, here. And so we've now charged this up with 6 kilovolts of voltage. And now we're going to try to discharge this. And let's have a look. And when I connect this here, it's going to short it, like in our diagram. Okay, and we see a spark. And the voltage difference has gone back down to zero. So this was our capacitors in series, and now we're going to connect them in parallel. So I have to reconfigure this here. This is in parallel, and I have to move this one here. Okay. So now these are in parallel, and we're going to charge this up. Oh, notice that it it's slower to charge up, which already gives us a hint that maybe it takes more energy to charge it up. And now we're going to short it. Okay. And I don't know about you, but that spark looked more dangerous to me. So I'm going to call this a victory for physics. So I'll see you next time. Well, 
thanks for watching. It looks like I survived today. Um, but if you want to find out if I survive the next experiment, then um, remember to click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.